Hey guys and welcome to our first tutorial on the uh, full screen Divi scrolling with a mouse wheel. Um, we noticed online that um, Divi have now released full screen pages that you can scroll down with buttons but you couldn't actually do it with a mouse wheel. So now um, we've found some code that will allow you to actually use the full screen pages with, um, with a mouse wheel on the desktop. So I'll show you how to do it now. So first of all, you want to make sure you've got an updated version of WordPress and a licensed themed Divi up to the latest version. Um, if you don't own Divi, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and purchase that. It's a great theme for anyone that does web design. Um, then we're going to add a new page on our WordPress that we're going to feature our full screen scrolling on. So we're going to use the Divi Builder, we are going to put on the dot navigation so that on the right hand side dots appears so that people can quickly scroll from page to page if you have a few of the uh, full screens. Um, the first thing we're going to do is add a full width section and get rid of the standard section. Inside the modules we're going to add a full width header and put in your title demo1 and then you can add subtext buttons and all that. There's, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to show you how to style out a page that um, actually Divi published here today. We're just trying to show you how to use it with a mouse wheel. Uh, you go to design and now they've got this new button here called uh, make full screen. Put full screen on, uh, save and exit. Now, you haven't actually put an image in the background yet. I recommend we put an image in this uh, 1920 by 1080. So you just go to this little three lines over here in the purple section, background, image, and for the demo purposes, we're just going to use some desktop backgrounds, some mountains. Once it's uploaded, make sure that you're you're showing the full size version, not just the the small version. Set as background, save and exit. Now we're going to repeat that three times, which you can just use the cloning tool. Um, and we're going to change the background for each one and change the demo to different labels. Now unfortunately when using the mouse wheel scroll it does get stuck on the footer so you can't use a traditional footer on this page but in Divi you can make something that resembles a footer and set it as a global item so that you'd be able to um, use it across your pages. So just going to make a, a little footer down the bottom just as an example. Let's just add some text in here. Right, so once you finish that. Um, just publish the page. Obviously you'll want to do a lot more styling and everything once you've actually got it working but for now I just want to show you how to get the mouse scrolled and working. Um, at the moment it looks like this. You just scroll down normally as um, you would and then there's the foot we just made for demo purposes. Uh, but what you want is to be able to scroll that whole page at once without using the buttons on the, on the right or the ones that Divi provide in their demo. Um, and for that we've found some code um, I'll link the website below where the code comes from and I'll put the code on my blog post with the instructions but um, if you want to use the code but only want to use it on one page 
we're going to have to install a separate plugin, which I'll show you in a second. But if you want to use it across the site, then you go to the dashboard on the left hand side, Divi theme options. You go to integration, and then you want to copy the code into the head of the uh, blog section here. Press save. So now that code should activate the full page scrolling with a mouse wheel. So now, going from demo one, demo two, demo three. I've just realised that the images are not there. So let's activate the images. That looks a bit better. Let's update that now we've removed the colour so the pictures appear that I actually loaded in. There we go. Demo one, demo two, demo three. Really nice effect. Obviously not many websites has this. Um using the mouse was very nice. And yeah, so unfortunately that code will then make your whole of your website scroll from section to section. So if you just want to install it on one page, we have to install a plugin we found um, the plugin I will link below as well um, but this allows you to just install that JavaScript on one page so that if for example you only want the home page to be full scrolling it can just be the home page instead of every every page scroll into each section each time because that might affect some of the design on your pages so if we go back to pages now uh, back into the full screen demo at the bottom of the, uh, the page you have this new section oh add script add it into the header of the page update and now you can remove it from the theme options page refresh and this is still working and it's just on this page now so uh, thanks for watching our first video if any questions put in the comments below and I'll try to help you out um, if you want just instructions we're going to be putting a blog post up on our website um, if you like this video please like it and uh, subscribe for, for more tips on, on website designs thank you